Track versions allow you to create and manage parallel alternate versions of a track or a group of tracks. Track versions work on audio, MIDI, instrument, chord, tempo, and signature tracks. With track versions, you can not only compare different takes of an audio track, but you can compare different audio edits, or even create chord track versions to addition completely different chord progressions for your song. Let's grab an audio track that already has a take on it, like this bass track. If you hover over the track name, you will see an arrow appear. From here, we can create a new track version and start recording right away. We can also create a duplicate track version for alternate edits, or to just punch in on one spot for a parallel version. We can also rename and delete our track versions here. Another useful tool in track versions is to assign common version IDs for quick selection. For instance, if we have a certain group of tracks that work well together, we can assign a common version ID after selecting the tracks. Now, if later on we have a track and we want to choose all of the other tracks with the same version ID, we can simply choose to select tracks with the same version ID. You can find many creative ways to use track versions on MIDI, instrument, chord, tempo, and signature tracks. This can even be useful if you're working on a project and have to submit different versions of the mix down. Like, for instance, switching between different versions of lyrics for a clean version of the song. Track versions, taking playlists to a whole new level. While you might need a track to still be part of the project for safety, you might not ever need to see that track again, especially if it's been finalized. Like, for example, in a perfectly edited MIDI track, where most of your future work will be done in processing the rendered audio of that material and not in the actual note editing of the MIDI track. To get started, select the Visibility tab in the Inspector area to see the track visibility list. Simply click on the white dots beside the track names to toggle their visibility. You can also select multiple tracks and toggle their visibility all at once. To exclusively toggle visibility for a track, simply shift-click on the appropriate white dot. The best part about it is that you can create and save presets for different tasks. For instance, if you wanted to have a visibility preset for just seeing your drum tracks for detailed editing, or if you wanted to be able to see all of your guitar tracks at once. By simply saving your visibility presets, you can change very quickly between them, saving tons of time. Also there to help are track visibility agents. Track visibility agents are there to help you filter down your selection with a set of predefined terms to minimize your visible tracks. You can even link track visibility with the channel visibility in the mix console by choosing sync project and mix console next to the visibility tab. Now you can see that any choices you make in the mix console are reflected in the project page and vice versa. Now with the addition of automatic hit point detection, hit points are calculated automatically as soon as any audio material is added to the pool. This can be done by importing audio or by simply recording into your project. Navigating hit points is easy. Under the transport menu and transport, you can see the commands for locating the previous and next hit points. This of course can be more easily accomplished using the key commands Alt N for next hit point and Alt B for the one before or previous. The new re-record mode speeds up the recording process and allows you to cancel an already running recording and immediately restart it from the last start position. So if you're in the middle of a take and you don't like it, just hit the record button again and away you go. To enable re-record, check re-record mode under the transport menu and you're ready to go. Pre-roll features will work the same for the re-record if you have them enabled. With track quick controls, you can quickly get the default quick controls from your instrument, and you can even learn new ones if you want. But with the new more powerful track quick controls in Cubase 7.5, you can save your track quick control assignments as presets for immediate access. Simply click the quick control track inspector and you can save your track quick control presets. Now you can recall them with a few quick clicks.
even to other track types. Sweet. Cubase 7.5 has plenty of enhancements that you're going to love using. Among them is the new, more powerful score editor. When working with MIDI, you no longer have to switch between the key editor and the score editor because everything you need is right there in one page. Click on the Inspector tab, we can see that there are some editing features that are normally not found in the score editor. Now you can quantize, transpose, change the length of notes, and many other editing operations. Anything you do in the score editor is perfectly synced with the key editor. So if you prefer working with scores, you won't need to jump back and forth anymore between the editors to get your work done. To find out more, visit the Cubase 7.5 product page.